Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is gallivanting day. I'm in the car, I'm about to drive out to Catherine's. She lives about a half an hour away from me and I'm going to go collect her and then we're going to go to one of our favourite garden centres because we were there a few weeks ago and we didn't get a chance to have like a proper look because there was an event on and then it closed before the time we, we before we got a chance to get what we wanted. I need coffee. Hmm. I think we'll get a toffee latte but um i'm excited i there's like a few bits that i want to get um and i just want to have like a little look i want to get like a, there's an apple tree that has two apple types of apple grown on the one like stem trunk thing i don't know but i'm very excited about that anyway gonna go collect her and i'll catch up with you when we get to the arboretum jardin center <laughs> After having our cup of tea in there and now we're having a look at the plants and we're going to play guess the price this is our favorite game that's how sad we are is there any prices on them i have picked a plant <laughs> they have a sticker on them oh is there is on the, the blue thing on the bottom or is that just for the pot that's for the pot guess how much the pot is don't look i'm not looking um 150. oh on the money 149 like <laughs> oh hang on Okay, guess the price. I have the price. Of the tree? This tree. Okay, this tree. I would say 1,700. You, it's your lucky day, my friend. Go on. 595. <gasps> Is that it? Now listen, we are so crap at this game. Guess the price. Oh, That's a lovely one, isn't it? They die in the frog. Yeah, so you have to do like a lot of care. You have to like put him in fleece and everything. But we're both on the hunt for climbing roses. We were to sell an olive tree. Mine does not look like that. Mine <laughs> looks... So how much is that? Purse, I would say... 250. You are getting bargains today, Karen. It's 125. <gasps> oh, actually, yeah. No, it is gorgeous. But we're looking after getting um, this. And Catherine will show you on her video what she got. But I want to look at like apple trees as well. Lads, you think we're, we're joking when we say we love playing Guess the Price. Oh yeah, we did. Was he something like three grand or something the last... <laughs> I remember. What is that? He's massive. Like, like you st go down here and you stand beside him and see how tall. <laughs> now you're what, four foot what? Four, eleven? And three quarters. And three quarters. <laughs> He's on a pallet as well. He's ready to go. Look at the size of him. That is beautiful <laughs> for good luck. <laughs> I yeah, love these. Good. These are nice and shady bits. That's actually a lovely idea for an edge. See the rope? Oh, it is. is it? Yeah, everybody. She has her Crocs on in the garden centre. <laughs> yes, I do. God, that's like the perfect day for wandering. Okay, lads, we're doing guess the price of this olive tree. Ginormous. Just the scale, 411, the scale, 411. And I feel like so. this is good value. <laughs> okay, I would say, so if the other one was 125, <laughs> like 1200. No, you're not getting, you can't afford it. It is <laughs> two grand. That, do you know what? That's it? actually not bad for that, that size. Is, how many? There's another one there. Yeah. The size of them. Our lads, it's just gorgeous. The last time we were here a couple weeks ago, catching uh, I wanted eye. a bird bath, but we were in a hurry and I didn't get to buy it. I'm gonna pack my stand here. I also want a nudie <gasps> boy. You're gonna crash! Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a break. Here, wait. There, wait. Right. Okay. First of all, ah, uh, look, there's a little young fluffy. <laughs> oh, you make such a lovely Christmas. I'm in the front garden. Someone's <laughs> rubbed. What? This fella has a What are these? They're useless. <gasps> That's only €60. Euro. Prunus, isn't that apple? Is it? It's no. like a blossoming one. Blossom? Oh, these are all blossoms. <gasps> look at that. Oh, I really want... Okay, look at this one. Well, it's a picture and it's only 50 quid. Oh my god. <laughs> That's my dream. Okay, so... Oh, it's down there. <gasps> 
They have it. Oh, phew. Oh, actually, oh, that's okay. So we had the debate over, do I want naked ladies? <laughs> bunny rabbits but we went with the bunny rabbits because isn't it lovely they've like little bat or kind of look like little stinky ones because it's only 99 isn't it yeah i'm seeing if it no that's it, that's like <sighs> now she's driving her thing okay miss catherine says she has a good question for you i think i've asked this before if you could name a plant what would you call it so if you came up with a hybrid I'd love to like name a sunflower. What would you name it? I don't know. I need to think. This is like you caught me off guard. I've said this to you before. If I had what to did you say? a hairy bush. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it back to Catherine's house and now we have to unload all of the plants into the wheelbarrow. A little something. So yeah, if you had Catherine's video, she will show you what she got and I'll show you mine later on. But lads, it's very hot. But look, we got some gorgeous bits. Oh, I'm excited to get planting. Sitting out in the garden, it is very quiet in the neighbourhood, so I'm very aware that my neighbours probably listen to me. Um, but like, look at the abundance in the border. It is beautiful here. We're having like another heat wave here in Ireland um, this week, so it is very hot. So I'm out here kind of early this morning before the heat kind of kicks in in the early afternoon so that I can get my jobs done and yeah just do what i need to do i have a very exciting delivery coming later today and you find out all about that in next week's video i need to show you some new um plants and flowers that have shown up over the last few days oh my god they're gorgeous oh, it makes me so happy like seeing color and then yes yeah, so yesterday catherine and i went shopping we went down to the arboretum in carlo and treated ourselves to some plants like that's us like we're in our element when we do that they had some gorgeous bits actually let me start with that let me show you what i bought because i only bought three things let's go first up is a special one i bought my very first apple tree but this is a special one so this is got like two this has two different apples on it which i thought was so exciting because you know the way you need two different um apple trees if you want them to pollinate well this doesn't let me show you that's the label there so it's 50 euro and it says no partner tree needed so oops on the top we have James Grieve. Never heard of that. On the bottom, on the bottom we have L Star. So it says that it should flower in the first year, but I don't see any fruit on it. Oh, no, it's a leaf. <laughs> I bought this as well. So it's a hydrangea, paniculata, Ophelia. And this is why I bought it because it changes colour throughout the months. So hold on. That's it now. It's kind of like a vintagey, pinky bits with green in it. It's gorgeous. So I bought that and then, then I bought this Rambling Rose in perennial blue. So that's the flower heads on them. They're gorgeous. They smell divine. So this is the plant here. Already starting to grow. And my goal for, not my goal, but my plan for it is to uh, put it at the bottom of the obelisk and let it grow up there, I think for now and then I was thinking about I know I've said it before in previous videos moving the honeysuckle over onto the archway but we'll see because it's kind of happy there look she's blooming I think I'm going to put up a trellis here and try and put one over on that side as well so that she can grow the full width but this is a little cottage garden area I've been keeping an eye on that now look at the tomato farm <laughs> we have lots lots and lots I see I could probably do it like pruning them again but we have a lot to go through we had some over the weekend family was over and we were able to eat some oh look see in there see there delicious they're so tasty we have kind of I don't know if you can see larger ones there Mam's um, strawberries are getting a second run. We just made this makeshift net out of chicken wire to help protect it from the birds. Ooh, look at that big one. Oh, that's huge. So we have more tomato plants here. Now look at the sunflowers. Oh my God. Honestly, they just make me so happy. 
and these lemon ones are stunning so see this one is kind of spent now so I'm gonna let that dry off and then when you rub this away the seeds will be underneath there because I'm definitely gonna grow these again next year look so these are sunburst ones so it's like a mix of different colors so you have that one that one I think these are my favorite with the yellow tips that oh. so yeah we have lots of seed heads so I'm not gonna be able to obviously save all the seeds but like we'll leave some for the birds as well oh my god look at it so we still have so many different seed heads and now I think what I'm gonna do today is also harvest some of the lavender now it has gone over I probably should have done this a while ago it still smells so good courgettes are flying they're kind of taking over that area so we need to sort that out corn on the cob now has husks can you see Hold on. there's one there there's one with the fronds there so whenever those little silky bits go brown that means they're ready like big one in there so that's about how high it gets i did I film me planting the celery there? I can't remember. Celery there. We've leeks here, but I need to get rid of some of the, the leaves here. I think that's like one of my learnings for this year is that, or from this year, is that I've planted things too closely together. We have Brussels sprouts here, kind of been eaten a little bit. The lettuce is coming on great. I'll have some of that today. Carrots are looking good. I'm going to remove those peas from this corner of the plot. And then here as well in this container because I need that space. And then these are last year, or this year's um, strawberry plants. So when I moved them, I was able to plant one of the runners there. So I'm going to do that with more of them. This border is looking wild, <laughs> absolutely wild, but so vibrant and full of colour. Can you see the bee? The bees are loving it in here. So my so verbena is huge. Look, there's another. Verbena, the Achillea is doing really well, but I don't know if you can see. So, like the Achillea and then the Rubeck here are all kind of like flopping over um, here. So, I think for next year, if I was to keep it there, I probably would maybe put lavender in front of it or some kind of support just to keep them. But, like, this border is just full of joy. I'll definitely grow these again. These are um, a couple of types of Rubeckia. My dailies have like come into their own. It's gorgeous but then this is probably one of my favorites of the year it's a begonia I've never grown them before and I didn't think that they were gonna flower but that one is fabulous hold on that's it there and then this one is about to open so every evening they look like that they close over like look how tiny and flat it is and then it goes like that then goes like that I just love the colors wanted to talk about the seeds that I want to save for next year so this I think is the first sunflower that went over am I even shot it's so bright I can't see so when you rub off this part that should be really dry it should come off really easily and in there are all the seeds now this probably could do have been left out a little bit longer let's see about this one no that's not ready yet but yeah I'm gonna save um, some of the seeds give them away and also for the birds as well so you can see as well that the sweet peas like they're still blooming 
we're picking them every couple of days and the more you pick them the more they'll continue to bloom because if you don't pick them then they'll turn into seed heads so you can see how many seed heads are around here um, and like literally picking every couple of days so this seed pod sorry seed pod um is green when it goes brown and dry and crispy let me see that's not quite there yet but it's close and um, we'll take those off for next year so i'm gonna save sweet pea seeds sunflower seeds cosmo seeds as well so i'm gonna deadhead some of these and then these seeds here are ready to go see that it's all kind of stuck out whereas the ones that are quite closed not quite ready so i might deadhead some of those if you deadhead them they'll keep blooming but it's nice to kind of use what you have rather than buying more seeds next year that's the perfect example of a seed head for cosmos i don't want to take them off because i'll waste them <laughs> but I'm gonna save those. I got a pack of seeds at a L'Occitan event last year. It was an online event from Leone Cornelius and she took these from her own Jardin. They were the softest, pinkest poppy seeds. Not poppy seeds, poppies. Um, so these are the seed heads and see the way they're green now. When they go brown, the poppies inside, you'll be able to like shake them and hear the rattle then they'll be ready to harvest. And there are like hundreds of seeds in each poppy head. So I'm gonna have them everywhere. They're gorgeous. For more cosmos is there. I want to keep those seeds from an old lupin and these foxglove seeds as well. Like, oh sorry, shh, look at that. Oh, he's having a ball. Um, yeah, these, where my finger? These foxgloves are gorgeous. And even the, whatever's left, like the bees are still loving them, so they are biannual so i'll save the seeds and then they'll grow not next year the year after pretty much everything else here is a perennial so i'll come back next year actually i'm going to cut back that geranium too see here this catmint if i find a picture i will insert it here i cut that back to almost nothing about a m month ago and it is flying up yes lads i know i keep saying it but it's roasting <laughs> but also Look at my little pepper. I can't remember what type it is. We'll find out when we go to eat it. <laughs> evening time so it's cool enough to water the plants otherwise if you have water in the morning it will just evaporate so I'm gonna feed my plants with this I've been using this for the last three years Catherine used it um, with a job that she did at Miracle Grow and I love it but I think I'll mainly kind of keep it to the tomatoes and the veg up there that's not our couch we washed the cover <laughs> it's uh, out drying but yeah the stuff that's up there like in the veg beds and the tomatoes 